I'm going to tell you about four underrated Smithsonian museums. Hello, welcome to Trip Hacks DC. My name is Rob. I'm a tour guide here in the nation's capital. If you're interested in Washington DC and you're looking for the best tips, tricks, and hacks for exploring the city, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything in the future. And after you're done watching Trip Hacks DC videos, head on over to TripHacksDC.com for even more. I've done several videos about museums in Washington, D.C. Smithsonian museums are very popular because they're really well done and completely free. However, they are not all equally well visited. By far, the most popular museums are Air and Space, Natural History, and American History. And that's not to say those are bad places to visit. It just means that they're often really crowded and the lesser known museums tend to get skipped over. So if you have been to any lesser known museums that you thought were worthwhile, leave a comment on this video and let everyone know what it was and why. Otherwise, let's get started. Number one, the portrait gallery. I love the portrait gallery because to me, it's the perfect mix of art and history. As the name suggests, it's a museum full of portraits. The most popular room is America's Presidents, where you can see portraits and learn about all of the past presidents in U.S. history. There are also exhibits to early Americans, 20th century Americans, and lots of other people who've shaped our country. And one thing I love about the Portrait Gallery is the number of rotating exhibits. So even if you've come here in the past, it might be worth looking at the museum website and seeing what's new. And before we go to number two, I have an honorable mention for an underrated museum. It's actually located in the same building as the Portrait Gallery. So while you're wandering around the portraits, you might accidentally wind up in the Smithsonian's American Art Museum. These two museums are connected by the Kogod Courtyard, a great space that I have mentioned in a few of my previous videos. It's a great place for an Instagram or to just come and hang out. Number two the Postal Museum. Okay, now I know what you might be thinking. There is not much less interesting in life than going to the post office. And while that may be true, going to the Postal Museum is nothing like going to the post office. In fact, if you want to buy stamps, I highly recommend the store inside the museum rather than one of our stuffy post offices. The Postal Museum tracks American history through the lens of the Postal Service. So in that way, it's actually a history museum with a cool twist. And since I'm a big history guy, I really love this place. But even if you're not a big history person, if you are a stamp collector, you're gonna love it here. The museum houses one of the biggest and most impressive collections of stamps in the entire world. And another reason why I love this museum is that even if you come here on the busiest days of spring or summer, it's usually not that crowded. And it's right across the street from Union Station. So even though it's not next door to the other museums, it's really easy to get to. Moving on to number three, the Renwick Gallery. The Renwick is actually an offshoot of the American Art Museum, but since it has its own building, I consider it its own museum. The building is located a stone's throw from the White House, over on 17th and Pennsylvania Avenues Northwest. Officially, the Renwick is a collection of contemporary craft and decorative art. And I'm always pretty impressed with what they have in there. The Renwick is also known for putting on excellent rotating exhibits. One of my favorites, which is no longer there, was the Burning Man. Yes, it's that same festival they have out in the desert. So if you know what that is, you can imagine what kind of art they had on display. It was really cool, and I'm glad I got a chance to see it while it was here. And number four, the Freer and Sackler Galleries. These galleries are actually located right in the middle of the National Mall. If you want to go inside, the door is only steps away from the big Smithsonian Castle. So in many ways, this great museum is hidden in plain sight. This is where Smithsonian has their Asian art on display. You'll find pieces from China, Japan, Korea, and other places in that part of the world. And this museum has one of the best kept secrets in Washington, D.C., the Peacock Room. In fact, I would venture out to say that this is probably the best room in the entire city. And photos don't really do it justice. You really have to come see it with your own eyes to truly appreciate it. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in Washington, D.C. and want to watch more, go ahead and click or tap on the next video, which is right over here. And if you're coming to town and interested in signing up for a Trip Hacks D.C. guided tour, you can click on the Capitol Dome on the left side of my head. That'll send you over to TripHacksDC.com where you can see all of the tours that we offer. Enjoy your trip!